So I've been at NASA my whole career. I am born and raised a NASA geek. I, you know, unabashedly can say that. Um, I uh, was educated at Brown and Stanford universities where I was really encouraged to think creatively across the domains of science and humanities. And that, for me, was very important. That's why I went to those two universities. There's endless numbers of great ones. Those two allowed that in me. Um, I got to NASA to, to really to try to work to understand Mars in the context of this solar system relative to Earth. Is it a place we can ask, are we alone? Is it worthy of that? I came to NASA to do that. Um, been lucky enough to see experiments that I've been involved with, that I started, fly to Mars, fly to Mars orbit, fly in the space shuttle. I mean, really, I sometimes poke myself and say, did it really happen? Did we really make those measurements? And I've been fortunate to work with incredible engineers. Scientists have ideas. Engineers make ideas practical. Um, we try to measure the unmeasurable, but the engineers tell us what, how unmeasurable is it. And so we've been lucky, I've been lucky, many of my colleagues across NASA have been very lucky to do that. So I got to where I am by working as a scientist, rank and file, proposing experiments, working with colleagues, giving papers, writing papers, and eventually coming to the point where my, uh, my, my value really was partly strategic. I served on Sally Ride's committee after the Challenger setback in the late 80s as a strategist, bringing science into the equation as one of the things we'd like to do. Um, I chaired one of NASA administrators' um, special skunk works for the future of human and science exploration um, about 10 or 12 years ago. Um, was one of the, finding, uh, the founding fathers of the Mars Science Laboratory Curiosity mission now 12 years ago when we first came up with the idea with the community. So I've done a little bit of everything. I've actually served as NASA, NASA's agency-wide chief scientist. Um, uh, under the Bush administration when we proposed to go back to the moon and then Mars. So I've done a little bit of everything and, you know, quite frankly, it's been quite a ride. And most of the ride of doing what I've done has been because of other people. And so my job is a people job in a sense because scientists are a strange group, but when we get together and do great things, we solve amazing problems. And that's why NASA is where it is, I think, because of that great cadre of people.